Thanks for joining me again. We are finally back in Alpine Park after probably, what, two years or so. So after the last episode where I built this small little go-kart track and modeled the building after a Frank Lloyd Wright gas station concept that he had developed, I decided that I needed to fill in this area over here a little bit more. You also remember that I left you off with this little bridge over here and I ended up finding another, I believe it was a house by Frank Lloyd Wright. And I kind of liked the design and the structure for it. So I, I tried to incorporate that into our park here. Now farther on, later on in this episode, I'm gonna start working and putting in a flat ride over here. I'm going to keep working on this building and flush this out a little bit more. And I think farther down the line, I'm going to possibly try to incorporate this building into at least the color scheme because I think that would work and make Frank happy. All right. So this is where we are. You can see I have this little platform here leading and just giving me thoughts and size ideas for the flat red I'm gonna to try to squeeze into this area. All right guys, and we are back. As you can see, we made a little bit of progress on the house. I got the idea and the lines kind of flushed out partially there. We tried to Add a little seating area for the guests to sit in over here. And we also incorporated a restroom and a first aid center into this building to give the building some purpose. I think it sits pretty well uh, on this plaza next to the other Frank Lloyd Wright building. And if you turn around, what we see is I've added the sizzler. I think this is going to be pretty cool. It sits out here over the lake, which will give you some pretty cool views when you're flying by in circles over and over and over. However, if we are on the other side of the lake, you know, our sizzler sits right here next to our Ferris wheel that, and our coaster in the back line, background, excuse me. I think that gives us a pretty cool skyline and view over the lake. I'm still trying to figure out how to do all the walls and stuff and getting our rotations down. And let's fill this in with some landscape. So this is where I'm at for the end of this update and I will be right back and catch up with you after the next one. All right, we are back from our break. We have a little update here. So I've got, I've decided to go ahead with this brick and glass enclosure for the queue line, which gives it a neat little divider from the rest of the lake and keeps the people safer on the right. Uh, I believe in the future, I will change these roofs a little bit. Obviously we change the color and work on the landscape, but this is just a quick little update. I don't think I got a whole lot else done since we last updated but so far i'm liking the way it's looking gotta work on this landscape this groundwork or rocks or whatever we're gonna do down here because that's not looking that great but i like this house and the way that it sets in here i think that's a pretty cool view there we go look at that All right, well, that was just a quick little update and let's check in when we get some more work done. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back from our little update. We got a little bit of work done. Let's check it out. So first thing I noticed is that we uh, did end up changing out the roofs here. Those look like they're all custom pieces, which I really like the way it turned out. Gives it a lot more texture and depth. Looks like it, we changed the color of the bricks a little bit too to give it some, just some character. I think it 
blends in to our shoreline here, but it doesn't block our skyline with the rides in the background. Flipping around to the front side, we put in our little brick wall, got it colored up, and looks like we got our lighting situated, or at least a little bit. So let's flip over to nighttime and see what we got. All right, all right, nothing too crazy. Just accent those walls so people can see where they're going, which also gives a, we also got some lights in here for the guests. So they are not in the dark. I really like this color, or these, this color combo, and I think it turns out, turns out looking pretty good. From the outside here, looks like we got some amber or orange up lights there. It looks, looks good and it doesn't detract from anything else we're looking at. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for what I got for this update. I think I got one final update for you to show you the final product for this episode. Again, I actually recorded this, all this work two years ago after the last episode but I never ended up making the video, so this is all kind of fresh to me again. I got inspired to, to play the game because the new game's coming out soon, hopefully, by the end of this year, and I wanted to get back into it. And this one is the part that called to me. After this episode, I'm gonna start playing some more and see what we can do. I wanna finish out this building, make it look final and neat, I think in our next update, we're gonna work on this area. But, I really like the way the rest of my park looks and I don't wanna change anything yet. So I'm thinking that we expand. We have this entire area on the backside of the park we can still use. So, I'm thinking I might take a pathway through here somehow over the coaster, under the loop, over the train probably, through the tunnel, and then we come back out here and we're in a whole nother world. Now what that world is, I'm not sure yet, or what rides it we will maintain, but it's probably still gonna be foresty themed, uh, excuse me, alpine, or not alpine, but you know, mountain town themed, uh, but we might have a little, little spice to it. Anyways, that's just a little rant. So let's uh, catch up to the next update and see what our final thing looks like. All right, guys, we're back with our final update here. First of all, I can see that we got this building finished out and flushed out, looking good. I love the way it turned out. Got some little, some plants inside here just for decoration. I don't think this area is actually usable by the guests, but we can pretend. I do see people using these restrooms all the time, which is fantastic. And it looks like that building, small, but it looks good and it's blended into the scenery. All right, but what we came to see was how this ride turned out. I think it turned out fantastic. I really like the way that this encloses the ride, but yet still allows you to see the park behind it and what's going on over there. Up front here, you notice we got our paths covered up, our grass covered up with some scenery and some flowers to match our ride. Looks like the guests are enjoying it too. I wanna take a look at this at nighttime and see what we got. I really like it. It's not too bright, not too dark either. Everybody can see where they're going. I might need to add some lights in over here for the people on the ride, but at least our pathway for everybody else is lit up very nice and well. I think this area is turning out great. And I just love the way that this park looks, especially back here. We come back, this is my favorite view of the park. Love it. This building doesn't take away anything, but it does look good sitting on the lake. It looks like we also got all the rock work done. Got this all covered up and looking nice. Blended in, looking good, fantastic. Yes, 
Yes, yes. All right. All right. I think, like I said in the last up or last update, uh, in the next episode, I'm thinking about busting through this little mountain here and getting us over to the other side and seeing what we can build over there because I don't want this park to die. I really have enjoyed building it. And for the few people that are watching it, I think uh, you might want to see some updates. Either, either way, I'm going to keep playing this for a little while because I want to get back in the swing of things and get ready for Planet Coaster 2 to come out. And with that, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Thank you for watching. And with that, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.